welcome back in this tutorial we'll quickly walk through the functionality of the selenium ide that we have installed in our previous session uh, now we know how to open the selenium ide okay uh, so what the selenium ide does as we have in, done in the introduction part is it does the automation part as we do not want to do it in the manual part what does manual part exactly mean yes uh, if i want to test like any particular stuff in the amazon like you say uh, what do i write the test from okay you need amazon url you need to open it in the manual testing i'm saying and then you go to all you say i want test tubes you search for it and then you see the first link and then you click on it and then you verify whether this price is 4.41 or not so you write each and everything as a test uh, script in the test case that you have in the manual testing to eliminate that if you want to do that in the automation then we use selenium id there are so many other tools that are available out there this is one of the tools that i'm uh, about to walk you all through okay so to do that first we need to do is we see a recording button right in here if, if you are ready to record the screen the web application that you want it to do the automation you first you need to start recording navigate it through all the quick paths instead of writing the test case you navigate it to the test scripts it will automatically populate the table the commands the targets the values automatically it will also select the basic url and then it would write a test script so you just have to run it so instead of writing manually you need to, to record the screen now let me just go back to the home screen and show you guys how to do it okay now click on record okay go here now i am amazon.com now what i want is i want the users to type www amazon.com and hit enter and then so they are navigated to the main page and then in here all you see once i click this it says write in here open and it click on the search text box okay and then test tubes and then go you see here it started recording the steps that we are doing okay and then i click on the first one now i see the home page these are all we do right in the main page so everything is being recorded in here so when you go back if i want it to verify whether it's 4.41 or not maybe tomorrow it might get to 4.5 if i want to test it i select right click here you see verify text present this is the variable that is used to verify the values once you click select what it does is it saves that particular value immediately after that and it would verify it when we write the test case now go to amazon main home page let's check another one okay here kindle fire hd and then click go i'm selecting two different things go to kindle fire hd check the price of it to 199 verify it now go back so this is was the test that i wanted to do now i'm done i'll stop it i'll save this particular test case save test case as you see in the file menu icon i save it as test case amazon okay now carefully observe i'll be in this particular website carefully observe in here you'll see a selenium will be running the test for us and you'll also see the log the run and the failures click on this you see the play current test case option this is like a test suite if you have bunch of test cases it would run that but because we have only one test case we'll select play test case but before you select that there is a fast and slow button right in here if you select it as default to fast you will not even see where exactly it's going but you'll just see the results but if you want to see each and every step move it to little bit slow okay and then click test now let's see what it does see it navigates it goes to amazon it searches test tubes it goes to that particular link 
verifies the 4.41 and then it goes back to the home page kindle fire hd you see the log right on the left side you see the log and then it verifies the 199 now in here you see this is the log that it ran for us all the testing runs one there are no failures because everything else is fine it verified so this is how you do a quick uh test case using selenium these tutorials are mainly helpful like when you are going into as a java developer as well it's very good that if you have a basic knowledge of all some of the automation tools so i'm just walking you all through the basic automation tools that i am aware of i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you